Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie, also known as the Sassy Lassie Budgeter, and this is my channel. So today I am stuffing my weekly paycheck. For those of you that don't know me, I am a teacher and I break up my paycheck into four or five equal payments, just depending on the week. This month I'm breaking it up into four equal payments and stuffing it on a weekly basis. Now, I have to apologize because part of doing this cash envelope system is that I am being accountable to not only myself, but anybody that watches this channel to get ideas or inspiration. And last week, it is no joke, I recorded my weekly cash stuffing envelope at least six times. It was a nightmare. I ran into my camera dying, running out of storage, my um, money tray breaking. It was just, it was one of those weekends that I needed to step back. I did stuff my envelopes, but I ended up just not recording it because there were too many errors. So this week I focused on getting everything ready, making sure my phone was charged, making sure there was enough storage in my phone. I didn't realize this, guys. I had almost a thousand pictures and over 30 videos in my phone. Oops, sorry. So I had to learn how to transfer all that information over into the cloud. So, you know, I did a lot of learning this week. So let's go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing. So I did stuff my envelopes last week. And like I said, I didn't record it. Now, I just got back from the bank and I love these little sticky notes from the budget mom. They are so helpful. And for me, I can easily just throw it away. So if I did my math correctly, which is always fun, I should have, let's see. So we, and I have a calculator. So I did this this morning, but I didn't total it. Oh, and I promise I'm getting my nails done this week and I just ran out of time. So 100 plus 40 plus 210 plus 50. I think that's correct. So I should have $400 and I love my calculator. I love anything. I think I'm one of those ASMR people because I love the, the sound of spongy buttons. Okay, so... $400 even. So, I will also tell you, yeah, that's everything. I will also tell you in my envelope, I did have to purchase some stuff from Amazon this week. And so I have in my little bank envelope, I was actually gonna withdraw, withdraw 500, but I went ahead and took $100 out of my Amazon allowance. Oops. And I went ahead and I put it aside because that's what it's there for. Because I had to buy, a, well I didn't have to, I wanted to buy a money tray and I needed to buy some supplies for the house, things like that. Okay, so there should be $500. So let's go ahead and get going with this cash stuffing. So let me separate it first, it should be separated. I got a lot of fives, so let me separate it first. So how is everybody doing? It's the last week of March. Oh, I love this. I already love it, it's my first time using it. Um, I bought it on Amazon, it's a sungla sunglass <laughs> tray. And so um, it's really, I can really see it, so that's good. That other tray, it was cute, but I just had a lot of trouble seeing anything on it, and I was making a lot of mistakes, so this fits perfectly. The rest of them should be fives. Okay, so this is $500. So if you look at my budget, okay, and I, where is it? That's an empty one. Of course I don't have it out. Here we go. Okay, so if you look at my budget, can I zoom in a little? 
Okay, so I get paid monthly $2,987. That's, that's what I take home after taxes and insurance and retirement. So I broke this up into four equal payments and then I rounded down because I did want to have a buffer in my account. So that left me with a $500 weekly budget. And then, like I said, from those $500, I break it up between my cash envelopes that are in my wallet and then my sinking funds and then my savings challenges. I also have an exercise savings challenge and I can link, I can invite you on my YouTube channel. It's StepBet, it's an app. There is a little bit of an investment to begin with. It's $50 to join on a yearly membership and then you put in a bet. So I currently have two bets going. And so if you wanna know how step bet works, it's, it's a walking challenge to get in enough steps. So I'm doing that and then I have my savings challenge. So that, and I'm really excited because for me, this is gonna be my last March Madness but let's before we do march madness let's go ahead and see make sure we have everything so we have 50 100 150 and i am really tired of trying to keep track so i brought the can handy dandy calculator out okay then and I am going to get my nails done this weekend. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 300. Okay. Ah, uh, don't touch any buttons, Melanie. Okay. All right, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then our fives. I did get quite a few fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Oh man. Okay. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And I've already done something wrong because, how did I do that? I have $600 every single time. Okay, so that was 150. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 20, 60, 80. 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So I'm supposed to have $500 with the, it's gonna come out to six, $50. <sighs> oh, I got 400, did I get 500? I got 500 out. That's what I did, I got $500 out. Okay, let me take the $100 out then. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I'm gonna set these $100 off to the side. Okay, friends, <laughs> I swear to you, every time I have to deal with money, I go crazy. It looks like I've lost my mind. This is why I lose track of money so easily because all I do is use my debit card. Okay, we're just gonna power through. I have an extra $100. I would do $500 instead of $400. Okay, this was not <laughs> I guess it's a better problem to have, but still, I would like just one time. I'm gonna get this right, okay. So this is my, there's the dog bite, it's healing. So this is my change for the week, and what I do is I just put it in my, change jar. Okay, we're just going to keep going. We're just going to power through this. Okay, what happened was I just went and checked. I did withdraw $500 from my checking account. 
instead of $400. The problem was what I wrote down at the bank was different than what I wrote here. And that's why there's an error. So I just need lesson learned, right? It's a lesson. So these are my cash allowances for the week. So the first one is gas. This is what's left over. So gas still has $20 in it. And I'm just going to leave it there because I am I would just pull it out. Groceries has nothing. Or, yeah, groceries. I spent all $100. And then personal has 25 Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see. So we have 20 30 5 $36. Now these $36, I'm going to go ahead and put off to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and get my March Madness envelope out. So here is my March Madness. And this is the last week for me. So I'm adding $36 to it. So let's go ahead, I'm going to put this off to the side because I really want to see how much is in my March Madness. So this is everything for my March Madness. So let me go ahead can you see, and organize it. So. So here's my money from March Madness right here. It's all here. I'm getting ready to count it. And I love the March Madness. This was my first challenge. And it inspired me so much that I created an envelope. And it's already uploaded onto my Etsy shop. I'll, I'll put the link in the description box. But it's the April Shower Spring May Flowers envelope. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much money I saved in March Madness. So I'm ready to add up my March Madness money. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 1, 2, 3. So we saved a total of $198. Okay, so I'm super excited. I saved $198, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my March Madness. There it is, $198. So I'm gonna take this amount and we're gonna begin stuffing our envelopes. So to begin with, let me get it out. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start stuffing our envelopes. So the first one is the rollover and the rollover. So we're going to start with our sinking funds first, and then I'm going to go into my cash envelopes. Okay, so I have this $198. That's not part of this money. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my rollover. Now I learned last week when I tried to film this, I don't know, a hundred million times that I do not need to write anything on the tracker in the back until I am done. But I'm confident enough to go ahead and put $198. So there we go. There it is. My first Stuffing for rollover, very excited to see that because that will go into investing eventually. Okay, so.
so extra week I months during the year where we have five weeks instead of four weeks and stretching a pay period out between five weeks is really stressful so i'm going to go ahead if you look at extra week i'm giving myself forty dollars here's my extra week and let's go ahead here's my 40 so now i should have 20 40 60 80 so now i have 80 dollars so i'm going to go ahead and write it on the back here So there we go, $80. So my goal for the extra week is to save $500 in here. And just once it's filled, you know, put in the savings account and then do it again, do it again. Okay, so Amazon, this is where the shenanigans are starting. So in Amazon, you'll notice it was open for a reason because I took $100 out. So see, I took $100 out. So there should be $100 in here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I'm not putting anything back in there until April 16th. I do it in one month. So I get the pass before I actually put in more money because I'm trying to rein in the spending on Amazon. Okay. Okay, next is car. So car is getting so oh wait, so extra is getting eighty. Car is getting ten dollars. Make sure you can see it. Okay, so here's car. I'm gonna get myself a ten. So now I have, okay, so I have 20, 40, 50, 60. I have $60. So I'm going to go ahead and put there today's date, $10, and now I have 60. There we go. Let that, this pen is erasable and sometimes it takes a minute to dry and it's leaving little marks on my envelopes and I don't like that all right emergency fund okay so we had we had sixty dollars for car okay now emergency is getting 40 so let's go ahead and do that 20 40. Okay. And I am doing the Dave Ramsey where I want to save a thousand dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and put today's date. Maybe if I write it first, it'll give it some time to dry off. Okay, I just have to put the total. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 260 dollars. Wow, that goes up quick. It's amazing because this is money that I would normally just be blowing away on random junk. I can never explain to my husband what I buy. But at the end of the month, I hardly have any money. So it's amazing to see how much money I've been spending and no accountability for it. Okay, so invest. So, oh, let me write that here. So, emergency. Oh, how much did I save that? So now it has $260. $260. And this, um, this worksheet comes from the mom life with Chrissy. I bought it off of her Etsy account and I love it. I actually have it on my iPad and then I print it because it just, I like everything on one sheet. Okay, 
The next one is Invest is getting nothing because Invest is actually going to get this rollover money soon. So Invest is getting nothing. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, so Sassy Lassie. I guess I could do the total to show you how much I have. It's not much in here. So Invest has $20. That's it. Okay, so Invest still has $20, so let me put it there. I'm one of those people, I hate blank spaces. Like, if there's a line, it needs to be filled. Okay, Sassy Lassie, that's my Etsy shop. It's getting $20. So let's go ahead and take everything out and get a 20. Okay, so, oh, okay, so I did take I went to Hobby Lobby last week and I took $10 out. So I should have $60 and I just added a 20. So there should be 80. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. Ha, huh, I got something right. Okay, so $80 and I'm putting in a 20 in today's date. Okay. Okay, so that's that. I, you know what? I think I'm going to put the ink facing the money so it doesn't get my envelope dirty. Okay, then, oh, let me put it here. Sassy, so Sassy Lassie now has $80. I feel like my hair is coming out in this video. Okay, work is getting $10. So let me get 10. So now let's see how much work should have. So 20, 30, 40. And I actually will probably be taking all of this out this week because it is a coworker's birthday. And so she's, she's actually a really close friend. So I will probably be taking all of it out and trying to get her something nice. And it's been a rough year with the COVID and the masks and the blended learning. So it's not much, but you know, something to treat her. Okay. So how much did I say I had there? I think I had 40, 30 or 40 in work. I'm rambling and now I forgot. This is. You know, this is what happens when you don't pay. I have $40 in there now. Okay, so that's that for this envelope. Okay, so I'm gonna put this envelope to the side and we're gonna continue with this envelope. This is like my celebrations envelope. My first one, let me make sure you can see. My first one is Ben. Ben is getting $30. So that's a 20 and a 10. I don't know what I'm getting Ben. If he's graduating in just a few months and so, I wanna give him something really nice, but I'm not sure what. Okay, so let me fix this. Okay. Alright, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40. We have $140. Okay. So Ben has 140, and I do think I am going to face the ink towards the money so it doesn't get my own, because see, it's doing this. Okay, hubby is getting, oh wait, so, how, okay, so Ben now has $140, okay, hubby is getting a 50 because hubby's birthday is in just a few weeks. So I'm gonna get a 50. So now we have, 
couple odd numbers. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. Okay. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 90. $190. I'm going to write it down here first. 190. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here. I already wrote it down on my worksheet so I don't have to figure it out again. Okay. Stick that in there. You know, this envelope system, it is a it is a learning process, friends. Okay, me, Melanie. Am I getting anything? Nope. I'm not getting anything. I have twenty dollars in there. Uh let's see. Next is Christmas, and Christmas is getting $20. So let's go ahead and get $20 for Christmas. Okay. So now Christmas has, I am super proud of Christmas because I am a procrastinator. I shop for everything that has to do with Christmas on like December 22nd or 23rd. So this, this is huge for me, 20, 40, 50, 60. I have $60 now in Christmas. Yeah, it drives my family nuts. Nuts. <laughs> my Texas twain comes out every once in a while, guys, sorry. Okay, so. That is $60. Okay, vacation is getting $20. So vacation now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 140 dollars. I really wanna to go to Las Vegas. But we'll see. 140. Yeah, so I deposited 40. Today is the 26th. Um, oh, but yeah, back to Christmas. Sorry, friends, I'm just going all over the place. Um, yeah, I drive my, my family, my husband, everybody crazy with shopping two, three days before Christmas because I'm out till 10 o'clock every night buying everything, like very last minute, $140. It's a nightmare. Okay, and then miscellaneous, this is it. And I guess we can go ahead and do the, the counting we have. So 188 plus 100 plus 80 plus 60 plus 260 plus 20 plus 80 plus 40 plus 140 plus 190 plus 20 plus 60 plus 40. $1,288. Oh my God. So crazy. I would never expect that. Okay. So now we have $1,288. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay. So, okay. So now, back to Pink's budget. I got this is off of her Etsy challenge. So I think I'm gonna wait and start this on the first week of April, just because I, it's a $10,000 challenge. And even though I'm late to the game, I, I feel like I need to start like at the beginning of April. So I'll wait till next week, but it's time for my save off And I actually got some dice this time. Okay, so last time I didn't have any dice. <laughs> okay, so I'm right here. And so I have my dice 
I didn't have my dice last time and I just made up a number. And it was, uh oh, it was 10. Okay, so here we go. Roll the dice and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What did I get? Oh my God. Oh, that's not bad. Save $20. So I'm gonna take a 20. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know if I'm supposed to mark these off, but I'm marking them off. I don't know. That's a fun thing about these games. If you do it wrong, you can just do it over. Okay, so now I have, today's the 26th. I put $20. My head keeps touching the the camera, guys. Sorry, so I'm, I put $20 in, so now I have $32. Yep. Okay, that's fun. Let me put the dice off to the side. Okay, so for Saveopoly, I put in 20, so now I have 32. So let's go ahead and do my, back to my envelopes for my wallet. Okay, so my first one is gas. I always have $20 that I put in for gas, so I'm just going to put a, that off to the side. Groceries has nothing in it, so I'm going to go ahead and put $100. That's two fifties. So this has 100 And then personal is getting $80. So we're going to go ahead and do, let's do, this is, well, we'll do 20 30 40 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Okay, so we'll do $80. Okay. All right. And then we'll go ahead and put this back in my wallet for the week. Okay, so that's done. So we are left with, let's see how much money we have. Five, 10, 15, wait, wait, wait. I feel like they're sticking. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So I was pretty close, I wrote 60. Okay, so I have $60. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this challenge and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick right here. So I picked 47, so I'm gonna put $47 in my piggy bank. Now, how am I gonna do that? Cause I need some ones. Where are my ones? I don't have any ones. I'm gonna have to do, okay, so I'm gonna do 50. Yeah, I'll do 50 because I don't have any ones and I don't want to make change. I don't want to go back and mess with them. Okay, so I'll just do 50. And I also got this worksheet from the Mom's Life with Chrissy. She has an Etsy shop. She's so funny. So, and I'll get $50, so five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's not right because I counted 64. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Mm -hmm. My counting can be off sometimes. So this is my uh, challenge. For this worksheet, so I'm just gonna stick all fifty dollars in here like that. And there they are, and then I need to shake them down so I can't get to it. So there they are. Okay, and then I have one more challenge. This one kind of makes me nervous. Okay, so I put fifty dollars in here. Okay, so this is it. Okay, I'm really excited about. This. This is my last savings challenge, and I just got it this week. I ordered it 
uh, when they first came out. She launches them every once in a while because, I mean, she's a small business owner. She has a shop on Etsy. Uh, she goes by Tara Budgets on YouTube. Her, I'll link her Etsy shop in the description. So how this works, it, it comes with the crate, it comes with 100 envelopes, and then it comes with 100 stickers, and then you label the stickers with whatever denomination you want. And so since I have the Mom's Life with Chrissy for this going on, I decided that I would call this my 100 square envelope challenge. So I'm gonna open it, and I have no idea. I mix them all up. I put them in increments of $5. So I have anything from five to $50. And I think what I'm gonna do I know that I spent $100 on Amazon. I know I did. That's why I took the $100 out of the Amazon envelope. And so I know I took out $500 from my checking account, which I should have. And I intended to only take out $400 because I was going to include this as my $500. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting this back in Amazon, I'm going to pick an envelope and whatever I pick, I'm going to put in there and then the rest I'm going to put in the bank. Okay, so here we go. <gasps> oh my God, my first one, I am $50. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. There's 50. So I'm going to get, oh, thank goodness. So I'm going to get 20, 40. 45, 50, and that's my first envelope challenge for this. I'm really excited about this one. When I saw it on her video, I went, I think a lot of people went crazy for it. And so she had to shut down her store and she created a bunch of them and then she had posted on Instagram to uh, be on the lookout for them. And so the day they came out, I went ahead and I purchased it. I did have a Etsy gift card. So, okay. So I just put in $50. So I'm going to go ahead and put it. So this is called 100 squares for me. I put in $50. And I'm not going to keep a total on that. And so that's it. Before I forget, so this money goes back to the bank. Uh-uh, I'm not keeping it. So 20, 40, 60, and it's getting stuck in this envelope. This is my bank envelope. Um, it's gonna, I made this just playing around, um, but yeah, I made it. So this is my bank envelope. I'm gonna actually put it in my wallet because that need to go back to the bank and I'm actually gonna be there tomorrow in that area so I can put it back there. Okay, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and follow. You can also find me at the Sassy Lassie on Instagram and have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you, bye.